Thank you, thank you for being here today. You're such a such a super girl, always giving back to others. We co-hosted the Skin School together, free education for teenagers on skin and health. And you have such a passion for wellness, skin, and overall health. And um, how are you taking care of yourself and your loved ones right now? Um, I think just in a lot of ways, we're doing at-home self-care stuff like masks and taking baths and just trying to take time to be outside and take walks and get some fresh air. So we've just been doing all those all those different things. To Amazing. You're in the nature. That's so nice. Yeah. It's actually really yeah. nice to reconnect with nature. I, I feel like a lot of people do this right now. They spend a lot of time outside on walks and um, really enjoy the nature in a totally different way again, which is nice. Yeah, it's been so, super helpful to be able to have space to go outside and kind of just um, take walks and feel like we have just space. Space, I feel like, is is something that we take for granted. So, You have always been such a great... Um, advocate also for um, the problem social media can cause and um, mentally and psycho psychologically. And I always admired your posting and encouraging um, young kids to not get too caught up in social media and feel like, you know, they have to compare each other with others. What are the modern problems of social media and what advice do you have um, for everyone out there? Well, I think that every time I talk about this, I always want to say that I think that social media can also be a really awesome tool to, you know, grow your business and to keep in touch with people and to interact with different people and stay connected. But I also think that <clears throat> there's a lot of um, there's a lot of access to be really unkind and really hateful towards other people. And, you know, I know that bullying face-to-face -face is already a problem. Bullying people in school and just bullying people in general is, is, is already something that is a really big thing. So when you give people the access to do that, it's like giving people another tool to bully each other by using social media. You know, they, you're giving somebody a way to just completely be rude and terrible to people and be able to do it hiding behind a screen. So I just think that you know, the message I always want to send when it comes to that is that, um, you know, we can teach people and we can try to, like, show people that social media can be a really helpful tool and it doesn't and, and, and it can be a way to keep in touch with people and that um, it doesn't need to be a breeding ground for so much hate and so much negativity when, you know, there's already so much going on in the world that is hard and that is sad and there's so many there's so always to me there's so many bigger things happening that then you know then stuff going on on social media so it's like i i've never seen you know it's never really made sense to me the bullying on social media and it's something that i'm always going to talk about because it's something that i experience a lot and there's a lot of people that I know that experience it. And it can be really damaging to your mental health. It can make you feel really depressed. It can make you feel isolated. It can make you feel um, really, it can really mess with your confidence and your self-worth. And, um, you know, for, for younger people and for, for you know, pe young people and young kids who are trying to, find who they are and they're trying to find their confidence and they're trying to find their voice. I just think it can be a really tricky thing and it can really um, damage them on their path to finding who they want to be and who they are. So I always just encourage people to do their best to be kind to each other and um, support each other and um, learn how to connect on a positive level with each other. I also think when I when I grew up, there was no social media and we only had our friends and we compared ourselves maybe to our friends or to a tennis player, someone, but not like to so many people. Now every, you know, young teenager or kid has access to so many people and they all compare themselves in such crazy ways. And this is, um, this can also um, lead to anxiety and, you know, almost like, you know, a lack of self-confidence and 
and I always love how you put out um, your, um, you know, to your followers on social media, how to really um, learn how to really live your own life instead of always looking um, what others do. Yeah, I just think it's so easy to to compare ourselves to these lives of these either famous people or just people that we admire on social media. And, you know, a lot of people, we think from the outside that they have these like really charmed and perfect lives, but, you know, everybody struggles. Everybody has different ways that they, they, they go through hardships and they, they have issues and um, they hurt, they have hurts and, and different things. But I just think too, that, um, you know, I just think that we all, like, we all can do a better job at just, like, supporting one another, I guess, is really, like, the, the thing. And yeah. I and I also think the biggest thing, too, is, like, you have so many people that we, we do live in, like, such a crazy comparison culture that not only do we compare ourselves to other people, but we have other people comparing us to other people. So it's, like, oh, yeah. it's kind of this, like, vicious cycle that you know, you really have to work at not letting yourself get dragged into this hole. And you have of... to work on your own strength, you know, and that's um, what I also yeah. really loved about skin school, you know, if you feel good in your skin and, um, you know, thank you for advice to all the teenagers out there, feeling good in your skin also helps to, 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 to you know, get your self-confidence up and you know, you're such a supporter always, um, also for the frontline workers. And um, thank you, everything would also um, Justin and you doing together. It's really amazing and inspiring to watch how you always want to take care of others. You're, you're just a wonderful human being. I love you so much. Thank you for being part of this again. <laughs> and um, and um, yes, yeah, love you, Barbara. All the love. You're, doing. you're the best. Thank you. Love you. Love you.